It's a 2002 GMC Savannah 1500. Show you all how I changed my plugs and wires. Um, first took this cover off, so it's gonna be a seven millimeter screw on both sides. And here's where the clips are. You know, that's right there. And it's gonna be two tens at the bottom. When you take that off, it's gonna be this piece here. And it's just straps holding it on, but where are those straps? Hold on, let me find them. Okay, here they are. So these straps will be here. This one will be there. And they strap all the way up around and they clip here in the same place on the other side. So you just take them off on the far ends and then these come loose, pretty simple. And then you can have access to what you see right here. So what I did was, I, I don't know the book answer, but this is what I did to make it easier for me i tried to i tried taking the spark plug off i was able to get the uh number five off without the taking the heat shield off but it was like a pain so for this one right here i ended up just taking the heat shield off it's a 215 millimeter bolt just take them off and then it's real real simple to access it from there same thing for the other side I replaced those two already. Those are the more simpler ones. Went back with OEM too as well. Now for the front two on both sides, this is what you're gonna have to do. I'm gonna take your front wheels off. And there they are. So if you see the spark plug wires coming down right there, I try to get a light. Matter of fact, hold on. <laughs> Okay, you can see from right here. Very, very simple. You might have to take those um, header bolts off again to get the heat shield out. But very, very simple instead of trying to doing it from the inside. So just take your wheels off, take this uh, flap off or not, and you'll have access to those plugs and wires. It's real simple, uh, it's not real quick to me but it's real simple you'll be able to take it out so i'm gonna finish the front four and then i should be good